Hey Can-Am fans, my name is Jonathan and I'm a product specialist for Can-Am. We're set up in the garage today for a quick how-to on charging the battery in your Can-Am ATV or side-by-side -side vehicle. As you can see, we've got the Alfander Max XT1000R and the Defender XT HD9. But regardless of what Can-Am off-road vehicle you own, the process shown here will be very similar. So let's get started. The first bit of very important info, never charge the battery while it is installed in the vehicle. You should always charge a battery on a clean, unobstructed table or workbench. So our first step is to remove it. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket with the vehicle turned off and the key removed. Place a gear shifter in park. On our Outlander ATV, we'll remove our seat to get at the battery. You will see a battery holder secured by three screws. Take your 10 millimeter and remove those three screws and set the safety clip aside. For the Defender, the battery is located under the passenger seat. If there's a toolbox in the way here, just simply remove it. You'll see the access panel under the seat has a nice little space for your fingers to slide under towards the middle of the vehicle. Just give that a little thug to remove it and locate the battery. It's held in place by a battery holder with two 10 millimeter bolts. You'll just quickly remove those. Disconnecting the battery is very easy, but you'll want to pay attention to the order we disconnect the cables. Disconnect the black ground or negative cable first. Next, we'll do the same with the red positive cable and disconnect it. You should now be able to pull the battery out of the vehicle. Okay, let's check the juices on these batteries by hooking them up to the battery charger. The stock Can-Am batteries are valve-regulated lead-acid batteries or VRLA batteries. They are maintenance-free, so you never have to add water or do anything other than charge them from time to time. There is also never any reason we would need to remove the battery sealing cap. That's a big no-no. To connect your battery to the charger, start with connecting the red cable to the positive post and then the black cable to the negative post. Then, we plug it in and let the magic happen. Most chargers today will analyze the battery first and tell you what charge a battery is holding. Always refer to the battery manufacturer directions for the rate of charging. These Can-Am batteries will have a voltage reading of about 12.8 to 13 volts when fully charged. If the voltage drops below 12.8, you'll want to charge a battery for a few hours before reinstalling. A reading below 12.5 volts would mean your battery is around 50% of its charge capacity and should be charged until it's 100%. Once charging is complete, unplug the charger from the outlet first and then disconnect the charging cables, starting with your black ground cable and then the red positive. All right, let's get these things installed and get ourselves back on the trail. To reinstall the battery, everything will be in reverse order as when you removed it. With the battery placed in the vehicle, we'll reconnect our cables, this time starting with the red positive cable. Next, we'll reconnect the black ground cable and make sure both screws are tight for a good connection. On our ATV, we'll reinstall the safety clip with those three screws we removed and place the seat back on the vehicle. For the Defender, we'll reinstall the battery holder to secure it into place with the two 10 millimeter bolts you removed then replace the seat panel and storage box if equipped with, and you're ready to go. And that's it, pretty simple. Remember, you'll want to check your battery life about every three months just to make sure everything is good for that next ride. For more useful information and content, make sure to hit the subscribe button below and visit the owner zone on the Can-Am website. And we'll see you out there.